what is up, YouTubers? It's me, Andrew Japonich, and yeah, it is actually nighttime, and it is 10:07 p.m. The same day I recorded part one, and actually, I've been enjoying the game so much that, well, I've actually enjoyed reading your comments in the first video. So we're actually gonna go all the way back to New Bark Town and uh, go back to see Professor Elm, and um, we'll continue on, you know, with with part two and everything. So. Basically, um, the cops are in here. You know the cops are in here because, like, in the second part of this walkthrough, there's fucking cops everywhere. Okay. I'm not sure what I'm gonna call the rival just yet. I'm gonna just, uh, you know, to be honest. Wait, I called mine Drew. So my character's name is Drew. Who's one of my friends I can call it? I guess I can call it, uh, <laughs> I'll tell you what. I'm gonna call it, uh, I'm gonna call it Nizard. Nizar, cause I was talking to him earlier on Skype. This dude, this this dude is a great Nizar is a great name for this dude, cause Nizar is is my bitch. You're my hoe, Nizar. Nizar BZ21 or Nizar21 BZ. I don't even know what your username is. I forgot it, but you know who he is. Nizar BZ20. He's in my box list on my channel. He's on my good friends, but I'ma call my rival Nizar. So every time I beat him, I can whoop his ass. Okay. So before you walk out of the uh, Professor Elm's place, you're going to want to go ahead and talk to him. He's like, Drew, this is terrible. Mr. Pokemon's big discovery. So now I give him the mystery egg, and he's like, oh my gosh, what is this? So it's a Pokemon egg. And, uh, yeah. And he goes like, this is incredible. And he holds on to it until a little bit later on in the game, and then he's like, yep, take it back. I don't want it anymore. So, um, like I was saying a while ago, uh, um, I was reading some of the comments, and in this walkthrough, I'm going to try and use Pokemon that nobody ever uses. Like, in a Pokemon so that means I'm going to have to be doing a lot of grinding, and, um, lots of leveling up if I'm going to be using Pokemon that are kind of tough to beat the game with. But I'm going to try and use some Pokemon that, um, uh, nobody ever uses. And I've already got plenty of Pokemon in, uh, my mind that... That I want to do. So after you talk to him, you want to go back to your mom, and she's like, "Oh, that's a cute Pokemon. You're leaving." And what she does for you is she talks about the money, and um, I'm actually not gonna have her save my money because at the end I could just come back and uh, give it all to her. But what the money does is the more money you save uh, your mom to your mom, the more stuffed animals, Pokemon stuff that you can get a Clefairy, a Pikachu, and a Charmander, and then. Or later on in the game, you can get a giant, huge Snorlax that looks totally badass, and it goes in the corner. So, I mean, that's, I think it's if you save up like 100,000, you get, I'm not sure. It might be 10000, it's something like that, but I forgot, I could probably look it up and tell you guys next episode or something. But this guy comes around, he's like, I've seen you a couple of times, how many Pokemon have you caught? So, I've only gotten one, and I'm not, I'm actually not going to have him show me how to catch Pokemon, because I already do. I'm sorry, dude. It is too late at night, you need to go back and chill on that grass patch. So... Oh, and I figured out that instead of, uh, fast, uh, deleting the, uh, Pokemon, uh, Wi-Fi battles, I'm just gonna talk through them, you know, speed it up, and, uh, like I said, they were, uh, not, uh, Hoot Hoot and Noctile is actually a pretty cool Pokemon to get, if you wanna get one, but it's, I'm not gonna get one, because I have a better Pokemon in mind that I'm gonna get later on, and plus, I'm not really interested in a flying Pokemon, Considering you don't get fly until like the fifth gym, so. <laughs> but I'm definitely gonna get um one of the my uh somebody commented on my last video saying that you should use a Pineco or Fortress to take it on uh the Mill Tank for the third gym, and I was like thinking about it and I was like oh my god I remember I used to love headbutting those trees like crazy so. Dude, whoever commented, or girl, I'm sorry, if, um, whoever commented on the last video saying to use Fortress to, to uh, take uh, Miltank's rollout, I'm giving y'all a heads up that that's going to be one of the Pokemon I'm going to be using during this journey is a Fortress. So, I want to use Pokemon that you guys are going to want to watch and like be like, damn, this dude's, this dude's walkthrough is badass because he's using Pokemon that nobody uses. So, your first trainer battles right here and he's all like, I just lost, so it, it's battle. And I'm like, yo. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and speed him up because I've uh, the beginning battles aren't really that important. Like Youngster Joey, it's always Youngster Joey. It's like, damn it, I lost my Rattata. So you kick his ass, you come up here, and then this guy's like, yo, let's have a battle. 
And I, I always like the Pokeball symbol. So he's got a Pidgey and a Rattata that we can just kill with some tackles. I'm trying to get Ember. I think I get it right now, I believe. Level 10. Uh, nah, Youngster Mikey. Oh, uh, no. Then if it's not 10, it's going to be like 11 or 12 because I know it's not like too late. So uh, that girl doesn't fight you, I don't believe. She's got the same hair as me. <laughs> this girl has bug Pokemon instead of a Pokemon trainer. She's the first bug catcher in the game. Um, and Bug Catcher Don. So he wants to battle. He's got a Caterpie. So Caterpies, I, I mean, Caterpies and Weedles are not really a big deal. I don't like to catch them. I don't like to use them. They're just pretty much annoying in general. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh, and at nighttime, all you really find out is, uh, whoa, guys. Holy shit. Did you just see that? Did you just see that? Oh my god! Did I just find a polyrath in the grass? Holy shit! Wait, wait, wait! Oh my god! That might be the first- Oh my gosh, dude! That might be the first Pokemon I use in this walkthrough. Besides my starter. A polywag? Are you kidding me? You know how tight a polywag is? Especially if you, if you evolve into polyrath? Oh, dude, that is so badass. Wait. Oh, wait, I have, I have Pokeballs. Oh, shit. I do. Okay, okay. I'm going to probably go off screen and try. Okay. Tackle, 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 tackle. And we beat her. <laughs> okay. So, I found another Pokeball, but to be honest, um... Like, I just saw that Poliwag? Are you serious? Dude, I really want to get a Poliwag now because Poliwrath is, like, intense. Wait. <gasps> Wait. Oh, dude, what if I get Poly... Poly, uh... What's his name? The, the... Politoed! Polyrath, poly... Damn, I'm saying poly too much. Fuck! <laughs> okay. Cyndaquil is about to die. Hold on. I need to use the... Antidote. Okay. Okay. But, um... Poly Toad, the frog one... Don't you get King's Rock in this game? Yeah. Yeah, you get King's Rock. Okay. I'm getting so dragged off right now, guys. I'm sorry. So, anyways, we are in... Violet City. The first city with... A gem in it and up ahead is the tower with the bell sprout tower and you have to go in there but I actually want to try and catch another Pokemon for my team real quick so I guess we can come over here um, I might speed some things up just to see what kind of Pokemon are in here and uh, let's do that right now Alright, if I don't see anything other than Spinarax and Hoodoo in the next, like, 10 tries, then I'm just gonna say screw it. Alright, I'm sorry. Well, I guess all there is is Bellsprout, um, Hoot Hoot, and, um, yep. Yeah. All there is is Bellsprout, Hoot Hoot, and Spinarak. I think there's probably a few other Pokemon, but the other Pokemon are not at night, and I'm not, I really have to wait until morning, because I think the game is actually taking part of the real actual time, like, because it's 10.16 at night, and the game says it's... Hold on, the game says... Yeah, 10.15 p.m., yeah, Saturday. So, like, it actually is the right time, the correct time. So, anyways, guys, I'm going to go ahead and go to the Pokemon Center, heal up, and maybe we can... I'm not really sure if I want to catch Poliwag. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go catch Poliwag, just because, I mean, Poliwag is just... Damn, that's a... Because I like Politoed, the frog one, but I think I'm going to have to go Poliwrath because I would, would much rather have the fighting type, and the thing is, since I'm using the... Uh, Pokemon Crystal version emulator, uh, the Visual Boy Advanced, because everybody knows what that is now, and it's like freaking amazing. Um, 
um, I want to, like, it's just what I was trying to say was, um, okay, we found a polywag, and I know, I, I messed up a while ago, I actually, like, kill I killed the first polywag I saw, but what I was trying to say was, um, Politoed is only water type, and really the only moves it would get would be, like, Surf, and, and that was it. <laughs> like, but if I get, um, Polyrath, I can teach it Ice Punch, Surf, um, uh, Dynamic Punch that you get from the fifth type gym leader. I, I know there's a way to get the Water Stone in this game, so I think I'm going to go ahead and go with Poly, Polyrath. So, first of all, we need to catch, um... Polywag with a Pokeball. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead. Come on. Come on. And yes, we got it. Polywag was caught. And as soon as we get to the nickname Raider's house, I'm going to go ahead and nickname all my Pokemon. I'm not sure where the nickname Raider's house is. But anyways, we went and got Polywag. I'm going to go heal it up real quick. Or I can just use a berry because it really doesn't have that much HP. Yeah, I'm going to use a berry on it. Alright, and I'm gonna switch it with Cyndaquil in the party. And I might go ahead and grind it just a little bit. I'm not saying I. Well, I might just grind it off camera. Unless you guys want to see a little bit of it. I'll go ahead and grind like a little bit of it just to show you how to uh, train your Pokemon like really fast. Uh, well, uh, not really, really fast. I'm just gonna speed it all up. But uh, that helps it. If you go up here, um, like I said, the Bell Sprouts are the only ones you have to run away from. But uh, the spinner axe, you can go ahead and just bubble, bubble, bubble the hell out of it. And use um, your berries and your potions to go ahead and heal them back up. But uh, that's what I'm going to be doing right here real quick. So, oh uh, shit, I got poison. Yeah. I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and uh, grind them off screen, guys. But that will be next episode. So all I wanted to tell you guys was uh, we were in Violet City. Next episode, we will be taking on the gym. No, actually, we're going to go in the Bellsprout Tower first and be all that shit first. That way, whenever we come back, um, we can just, like, wipe, like, whoop, um, Falconer's ass. Yeah, Falconer. Okay. I forgot this spot. Yeah. The flying gym. Oh, my God. I remember this gym. Holy crap. Dude, I love the gym music from this game. Listen. Doom, doom, doom. Okay, so GYM spells out jam. We're gonna go back and heal up our pokes really quickly. Really quickly, Nurse Joy. Alright, whoa, fast forward. Okay, so next episode, we'll be taking on the uh, Bell Sprout Tower up here. I'll go ahead and go in it before we end the episode. Part 2 the Sprout Tower. And yes, so. Please comment below, guys. I enjoy reading your comments on my new walkthrough. It's very fun to read what you guys have to say. And like I said, just like the last guy commented and left that note of the fortress, gave me great ideas. If you guys give me some more ideas on what to do for this walkthrough. Uh, some of y'all were like, I'm a boss. I love you, Drew. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. And um, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Peace out, the bitches. <laughs> All right, seriously, guys. Bye.